Hi, I'm Nick Darling with Post Screen. Welcome to another whiteboard session. Today we're going to be discussing the second floor of our new skinny model. Now, if you haven't seen the full floor pants for that model, they're up on our website, 100khouse.com. Go ahead and check them out. But as I said, today we're focusing on the second floor. And we're doing that because we've come up with a couple of variations that we think you're really going to like. So, the original second floor is a pretty wide open urban loft sort of design. Just a big open space up there. You've got a bathroom here, a little washer and dryer there. This is your stair coming up. And then back here we have a, a little cutout that allows light from the second floor to reach the first floor. It creates a little architectural interest, if you will. Um, now, what we can do is that we've developed a way to sort of cut this space up in a couple of different ways. So, first we can put a wall right about here. It's our simplest method. Get a little door here. And then what you can do is maybe you can put your bedroom back in this area. You know, you got a bed here, a little dresser over here. Maybe a, maybe a closet or wardrobe there. And now we have a sort of a master bedroom suite up here. And this whole other space, which you can sort of do with as you please. Now maybe you decide, you know, I don't like people walking directly into sort of my living room, family room. So I don't want that downstairs in that front area of the downstairs. So I'm going to move it up here. So, you know, you have a couch up here. You know, nice little couch, a couple of chairs. Maybe a little flat screen TV, all of it drawn very badly, but uh, it would be very nice, I think, for, you, for your home. Now, maybe again, this isn't quite enough separation of space for you. Maybe you, you, know, you have a kid or you want a home office that has a door that closes. Well, we can do that as well. So let's take all this out of here, get this stuff out. And what we can do is we put a wall right about here and another wall right about here. Now what that does is it gives us two separate rooms with the potential to have doors on them. There's some doors on them right there. Now in this you could maybe, again, you could put your bedroom down here, say this time, if you like a little bit of a bigger bedroom. You got your dresser here, closet again, maybe a little nightstand. Uh, and then up in here you can put your office. Here's your desk, you know, a little computer printing area over there, and then we have this space in here, which is a very flexible space. You can do a number of things, but it could be a little sitting room, library sort of thing. Chad uh, would like to put a little bench here, um, and you know, some, some hanging space for clothes that goes around the outside there, so we get some hangers there for clothes. You know, Chad's sort of into the whole fashion thing, kind of a stylish guy, likes his clothes, so he gets that space. Now, maybe again, this is not quite enough separation for you. Perhaps you have two people working at home or you know you have a, you know, uh, a kid and you want a home office. Well, we can accommodate that as well. So what we'll do is we'll put another wall that comes down this way with a little door here and you can use that space for, as I said, a second office. There's your desk, little computer, little printer area there. Or maybe you want an office and a bedroom for, uh, for a kid. So we take this out. And we put, a, uh, we put a kid's bed up in here. You can do a bunk bed if you, know, if you have a couple of kids and you like to really pack them in. Um, and there you go. So we have a variety of different layouts and different spaces. I want you to keep in mind that my drawing skills are rather poor and these are definitely not to scale. But it gives you an idea of the flexibility that the skinny model allows. All of that great stuff on lots less than 16 feet wide. What more could you want? Well, thanks for coming in and look forward to seeing you next time.